Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And if this is the first time tuning into our channel, welcome. So we are here at the North Beach Campground in Pismo State Beach in Pismo, California. And uh, Lori and I are about ready to go uh, on a bike ride down to Avila Beach. It's 7.6 miles each way. Uh, we have our electric bikes with us. And uh, so it'll be a, an easy ride uh, for us. Uh, but the highlight of this trip is uh, Lori and I just purchased the Senna Model R2 bike helmets. Uh, Lori, why don't you show yours and there? White. You're, you're in white and I'm in uh, dark gray black. But what makes these unique is that it has a microphone up here and um, there's some speakers in the back part. Uh, so we have paired these up and we should be able now to communicate with each other. Two, uh, uh, two couples that we know uh, already uh, purchased uh, these helmets and uh, they really swear by it when they're riding together as a couple so they can easily communicate, make each other aware of uh, maybe traffic that's coming up, where we should be turning, those type of things. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, and another good thing is you can push a button and disconnect them too. Yeah, which I'm sure Lori <laughs> will be disconnecting me somewhere along the road. All right, so uh, we're going to put our hats on. We're going to get on our bikes and let's enjoy the ride together down to Avila Beach uh, and see how these Senna Model R2 helmets actually perform in use. Okay, we've had the helmets on for about uh, a minute or two, and Lori's already complaining that I'm too loud. But uh, um, we have the hel my helmets paired to my phone as well as to Lori's helmet. So now what we're going to do is Lori is going to ride off, and she's going to count slowly up, maybe, and um, we'll see where how far up she can go where I might lose her. All right. Hello, hello, can you hear me? You can hear me? Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's supposed to be like 900 meters. I think you just go up to where that road turns. Okay, you can go to the bridge. So, one, can you hear me? Lori? All right, turn around. Turn around, you're breaking up. Oh, now you're good. Okay. All right, so I don't know how far that is. We'll try and measure it, but generally we don't ride uh, this far apart. Okay, so uh, we're not quite sure how far the distance was, but uh, we're gonna try and measure it with my sport watch. But anyway, we're gonna get on our way with our ride and we'll update you along the way.
Okay, so uh, we've gone 4.5 miles. We have 3.1 more miles to go. It's very windy out here, which I think is really a good uh, condition to test out these helmets. So, Lori, uh, again, these are our first impressions of these helmets, uh, being the first time we wore them. But so far, uh, for the 4.5 uh, miles we've traveled with them, what's your thoughts so far? Oh, I can hear Bill perfectly clear, giving me directions and Dana, what's that at the road and close to the, away from the cars? <laughs> yeah, and we did measure uh, before we left the campground that about uh, four tenths of a mile uh, separation before uh, we started to break up. So it's uh, very, uh, very windy here today, so hopefully this audio is okay. Um, it's a beautiful park, Palisades Park in Pismo Beach. Yeah, this is along Shell uh, Boulevard or Shell Beach Road, and it parallels uh, 101 uh, heading uh, northbound. And we're going to go down a big hill here shortly, and then we're going to hop onto the Bob Jones Trail for the remaining uh, remainder a uh, couple of uh, miles into Avila Beach. So, uh, Shell Boulevard is lined with restaurants. There's a pickleball and tennis courts. Very nice, beautiful scenery here. Okay, so we're going to get a couple more sips of water and then uh, we're going to get back on our uh, way. Uh, again, uh, these electric bikes, you don't get any power unless you pedal. So they're really pedal assist. They do not have a throttle. But, uh, you know, uh, my impression of the helmet so far is I, I really like them. Uh, they're comfortable. Some people said they're a little bit heavier than a normal helmet. I'm not noticing that additional weight. Uh, so, so far so good. So we'll uh, see you in Avila Beach uh, shortly. So this is Palisades Park. Beautiful scenery. It's really nicely developed. Really nice place to stop for a picnic lunch after you've been bicycling or just riding along. Great place. Okay, well, um, we're in downtown Avila Beach. Uh, we're going to share some images with you. Uh, we had a nice big shaved ice. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're uh, going to be heading back shortly, but just really, uh, Lori, what's your thoughts uh, at this point? Uh, well, I was resistant to buying the helmets because I did, really didn't think they were necessary for our trip but I do see the value now uh, we can talk to each other warn each other about what we might be whether there's a car coming or whether you're, you're going to stop or uh, go into the crosswalk or whatever so I do see that there is some value to it okay and we do have a link to the Senna R2 uh, helmet uh, on Amazon. I believe we paid $149 each. So if you'd like more information, please use our link. If you wind up purchasing something, uh, then we uh, get a few pennies through the affiliate marketing. Uh, other than that, we're going to get on our bikes and uh, pedal back the 9.05 miles and we'll close this video out with our final thoughts on the Senna Model R2 bicycle helmet so uh, we'll show some footage uh, on our uh, travel back and then see you at the campground
Okay, so we said we would close out the uh, Senna Model R2 video when we got back to the campsite. Well, it's actually the next day. And it, <laughs> he it, forgot. It, 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 it's the afternoon, and we're about ready to go into the uh, Monarch uh, Butterfly area here, which is a prominent uh, tourist attraction adjacent to our campground. Our, our, our site is just... Uh, 100 yards or so down there. There's campsites back here and the uh, Monarch Butterfly is there and if you want to see what we the footage that we shoot that'll be in our other uh, video about our journey to the North Beach campground in uh, Pismo Beach. But so just quickly to close out the Senna Model R2 bike helmets with the intercom uh, service within them. Any last minute thoughts? Yes, you know what the clincher was for me because I wasn't, didn't really see the value. Well, Bill pulled out ahead of me and crossed the street on his bike, started right up the path, and I wanted to stop first so I could say, Bill, come back. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have headed off and turned around the bend and I'd be stuck there. So it was a good idea that we had the helmet. Yeah, you know, I, I think it was uh, a good move, uh, adds a bit, I think, to our safety. Uh, while Lori and I seldom ride more than maybe a quarter of a mile apart, um, I thought the sound quality was really good the whole time. Yeah. And, uh, and you don't have to have it on a really loud volume. Yeah. You know, so you know, it's very easy to communicate even with road noise or, or whatever around you. So I think it's very helpful. So, again, this is our initial reviews. Uh, we'll use them over uh, the coming summer and we'll probably do an update video. But for $149 on Amazon, the Senna Model R2 bike helmet, I think uh, for us. Uh, it has proved to be a good value. Uh, again, the link will be in our dis uh, video description. If you want to check it out, just click on it. It'll take you to Amazon. And if you wind up purchasing it, then we make a couple of pennies uh, through Amazon affiliate marketing. Um, but uh, and it was nice to have a conversation along the route. You know, uh, I think Bill like giving me suggestions of where I should be riding. Well, yeah, and... Stay close to the curb. Watch out for that car. <laughs> I, I think that's a whole nother video for another time. But, uh, so, clearly, we're both giving it a uh, thumbs up on the helmets, Lori. Yes, Give it th thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> and, again, we'd like to thank our friends uh, Rob, Lynn, Liz, and Gary, who we've ridden with before, and they had those helmets, and that's how we became aware of the center uh bike helmets with the intercoms in them the um and uh so that that's pretty cool thank you uh guys for making us aware of it and uh i think that's about it if you like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up and like share and subscribe and if you'd like to see what the monarch butterfly exhibit's all about check out our other videos that we're making here while on, on our trip at uh, the north beach campground in pismo beach california other than that See you next time. See you next time.